get down. Every week we do uh, This Week in History trivia style. It's seven questions. Our goal together is to get seven questions right. I'm a smart man. I should be able to get seven questions right. The closest I came was six, and that's because I know Ferdinand Magellan. <laughs> well, sit down, stop roving. It's time to do a trivia. Anyway, so the uh, Ferdinand Magellan, I know to be a Portuguese explorer, but it was a kind of a trick question, and uh, he was sponsored by Spain. So I got six for seven. Let's see if we can get seven for seven. Uh, this week in history, trivia style. Question number one. On September 24th, 1957, which U.S. president sent federal troops to enforce school desegregation in Little Rock, Arkansas? Now, this is easy. If you know who the president was in 1957. But if you don't know who the president was in 1957, here are four possible answers. Harry S. Truman is a possible answer. Dwight David Eisenhower. My dad loved him. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you their middle names. It's not showing me their middle names. It's just their initials. By the way, Harry S. Truman, middle name, was actually just S. He had some dumb parents. So was it Truman? Was it Eisenhower? Was it Kennedy? Or was it Lyndon Baines Johnson? That's September 24th, 1957. What U.S. president sent federal troops to enforce school desegregation in Little Rock, Arkansas? James comes in with Kennedy for an answer. My answer is going to be Ike. I believe it was Dwight David Eisenhower that did that. We'll find out soon. Question number two. On September 26, 1960, the first televised U.S. presidential debate took place between which two candidates? And, and again, these are one of the ones where if you know, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They did do a little, they did do the little rock uh, nine, I think they were called, in Forrest Gump. Great movie. I was in it. I, I'm not listed in the credits, but I was definitely in multiple scenes in Forrest Gump. Here we go. Uh, go question number two. September 26, 1960, two presidential candidates first televised a debate. Who was it? Was it Nixon and Kennedy? Uh, it doesn't list Richard Nixon's middle name. It, none of these. Uh, Milhouse. His middle name was Richard Milhouse Nixon. John, uh, was it Nixon and Kennedy? Was it Johnson and Goldwater? Was it Carter? and Reagan, or was it Hoover and Franklin Roosevelt? It's one of those things, either you know it or you don't know it. I know it, and I don't want to answer until at least uh, Mr. Taney answers. I'm giving him the benefit. Was it Nixon and Kennedy? Was it Johnson and Goldwater, Carter and Reagan, or Hoover and Roosevelt? He goes with Nixon v. Kennedy, and he is absolutely correct. You just, yeah, no. And uh, people loved Nixon, but he looked rough that day. <laughs> On September 28, 1928, Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming discovered what life-saving antibiotic? September 28, 1928, Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming discovered what life-saving antibiotic? Was it penicillin, steptomycin? Oh, he's going immediately with penicillin. He's jumping in on that one. Tetracycline? Tetracycline, that sounds like something I may have used in my life. <laughs> or was it uh, another word I can't pronounce? Was it penicillin, uh, step streptomycin? Tetracycline or erythromycin? I don't feel like penicillin was invited, uh, invented by a Scottish bacteriologist named Alexander Fleming. I feel like a more popular name is associated with that. But I also feel like in 1928, they didn't need no difficult names. 
I think it's penicillin. I'm going to go with penicillin. So, uh, yeah. Question number four. On September 23rd, 1846, astronomers discovered what planet in our solar system? September 23rd, 1846. Astronomers discovered what planet in our solar system? All of the options I have available are actual planets. I have a hair in this somehow. It's one of mine. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, not like Hooters, you know. Whose hair is that? I don't care. It's Hooters. And then you look at the chef and you're like, Ugh, I did care. Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, or Saturn? 1846. What planet was discovered in our solar system? Well, it's pretty far out there. Um, and it, it's been demoted. He goes with Neptune. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Uh, Pluto's no longer a planet. So I'm going to go with Uranus. Neptune. Pluto. No, 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 no. I agree. I think it's also Neptune. So that's my answer. I don't feel like we're going to go seven for seven this week. <laughs> Question number five. On September 27th, 1998, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, also known as ICANN, was founded. What is its primary function? Now, listen closely. On September 27th, 1998, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers was founded. What was its primary function? Was it regulating e-commerce, overseeing domain names and IP addresses, monitoring Internet security, or creating programming languages? Zeus just decided to pay me a visit. The Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, I think, answers the question. I am going with B. Wait, I am delaying long enough to give Mr. Taney an option to answer. I, he's a smart guy. He's going to say the same thing I'm saying. He's just he's distracted by the children's, apparently. Uh, it is uh, overseeing domain names and IP addresses. Answer B. Question number six, on September 29th, 1829, what famous British police force, known as Bobbies, was founded? Do the question again. Yes, the wife is correct. I'm not doing the question again. I've gave you plenty of time, shippy. <laughs> September 29th, 1829, famous British police force, known as Bobbies, was founded. What are they called? Was it the Royal Air Force Police? Was it the London Metropolitan Police? Was it the British Transport Police? Or the Thames Valley Police? That's the sound of the police. I believe the Bobbies are the London Metropolitan Police. James believes it's the London police, but he left out the word metropolitan, so we're going to take it against him if he's right. If he goes for all seven, we're going to put an asterisk next to it because he left out metropolitan. <laughs> and finalmente, question number seven. On September 25th, 1981, Sandra Day O'Connor was sworn in as the first female justice on the United States Supreme Court. What president nominated her? Again, if you know who the president was in September of 1981, you know the answer to this question. I know the answer to this question. I am delaying to give you an opportunity to answer. Here are your multiple choice possibilities. Was it Rich? I'm going to do all middle names even though it's not showing them. I'm doing them to show off. Uh, James says Bush. Was it Richard Milhouse Nixon? Was it? Oh, I don't know. I think Gerald Ford had a silly middle name. I don't remember his middle name. Like Lynn or something. He was adopted. Doesn't matter. 
uh, <laughs> Jimmy Carter. I guess I didn't know his name either. All right, let's just get serious here. Wait, 81, Reagan. He has corrected himself in time. Uh, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan. What is the answer? The correct answer, the only answer is Mr. Ronald Reagan. Little name, dork. <laughs> All right, here we go with our answers. Answer number one. I'm feeling good about it right now. It was Dwight David Eisenhower. Question number two. It was Richard Nixon and John F. Kennedy. Question number three. It was, do you feel the excitement building in my voice? It was, in fact, penicillin. Question number four. The correct answer, we both got it correct, was Neptune. Question number five, the correct answer was overseeing domain name and IP addresses. By the way, he did not get his answer in in time. His wife did, but he didn't. So we're definitely not giving him six for seven for seven. If it happens, don't know if it's going to happen yet. We're close. Question number six, oh, my goodness. It was the London Metropolitan Police. And question number seven. Finally, 54 episodes in, we went seven for seven. It was the Gipper, Ronald Reagan, who appointed Sandra Day O'Connor. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally go seven for seven. I am, I am stoked. What a great way to start our Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, I remind you today, as I remind you every day, just be the best person that you could be. And if you were a great seven for seven person today, be an even better seven for seven commercial uh, person tomorrow. Check Bruce sends her love. And with that being said, <laughs>